Three players, each with one single ambition to relieve the machine of this precious chatbot counter. Will any of them manage it? Let's find out on Tipping Point. <laughs> Welcome to Tipping Point. Three players will be facing our machine and they're all hoping to win thousands today. So, let's meet them. I'm Bill, a retired police officer from Bridlington. I'm Lisa Marie, an holistic therapist from South Wales. And I'm Matt, an operations manager from Manchester. Good luck to you all. Let's play Tipping Point. In round one, you each start with three counters. Questions are on the buzzer. If you buzz in and give me a correct answer, you'll have a choice to make. You can either choose to play one of your counters into the machine, or if you think the machine isn't quite ready, you can get one of your opponents to play one of theirs instead. Most of the counters you get out of the machine will add £50 to your score. That includes our mystery counters, which, of course, come with a bonus prize. But also nestled in the machine, we do have two double counters. One of those falls for you. It will double the entire value of your drop. Should one fall with the jackpot counter at the end of the game, you'll be leaving £20,000 richer. All three of you will be going through to play in round two, but you'll want to bank as much money as you can throughout the game. So keep an eye on those double counters because they could make all the difference. Everybody ready? Hands on your buzzers, here comes your first question. Who won the 2020 TV Choice Best Actor Award for his role as the title character in the ITV series Doc Martin? Lisa Marie. Martin Clunes. Yeah, of course it was. The brilliant Martin Clunes. Now, would you like to play the first counter? Would you like to pass the bill or Matt? I'll play, please. OK, where do you want to go? Drop zone four. Let's have four for Lisa Marie. <laughs> nice, quick settle for you, Lisa Marie. And then going over the top. Yes. Ooh. Spins and slides up. And oh. Oh. you can see that black counter just being held up. That is extraordinary. Can't believe it's not gone. Sadly, Lisa Marie, for you, it's staying where it is. Still got two left to play. Next question. In December 2019, Carmarthen West and South Pembrokeshire MP Simon Hart was appointed Secretary of State for which country of the UK? Matt. Wales. It is Wales, yes. Would you like to play, Matt? Uh, yeah, I'll play. Where are you yeah. going to go? Uh, I'll go for drop zone four. Looks good, doesn't it? Five, four, yeah, up. Yeah, it does, yeah. Yeah, nice settle. Lisa Marie's counter's just dangling over the edge. Can you nudge them in? Okay. With a bit of help. No! <laughs> Another one gets swallowed onto the bottom shelf. Nothing gets spat out just yet, Matt. You've got two counters left. Next question. This is Anfield. is an independent website that is predominantly about which English bill? Liverpool. Football club. Of course it's Liverpool. Yep, nicely done, Bill. Would you like to play? Yes, please. I'll go and... I think I must go for drop zone four, then. Let's do it. Four up, please. Here we go, Bill. Ooh. Right. Settle. Come on now, it's got to be flat. It is flat. You got it this time. Is it going to go? Are you going to get enough over? Yes, oh. you are. Now, finally, we're going to unlock the tipping point here, Bill. Yes, we are. Start. Here's a start. <laughs> well Three counters for you, Bill. £150. Let's take it from the machine and put it in your bank. And you've still got two counters left. Here's your next question. Launched in February 2021, Icy Park is the third collection of designs in the fashion collaboration between Adidas and which multi-Grammy award-winning singer? Matt. Kanye West. It's not Kanye, no. It's Beyonce. It's part of her Ivy Park range. Matt, I'm afraid we have to steal one of your counters. That goes into the penalty pot. You'll all play for that at the end of the round. You've got one left to use, Matt. Next question. The traditional Scottish dish, Cullen Skink, is a thick soup consisting of fish, milk, onions and which starchy vegetable? Lisa Marie. Potato. It is potato. Lisa Marie, well done. You get this counter. Do you want to play? I'm going to go drop some four again, please. Drop some four for Lisa Marie. Oh, Bounce down. Spins side. on the I settle. Went to the other side. You're OK, though. It's flat. And a couple go over the top. 
could be enough to do it. It's so close. Yes. <laughs> Nicely done, well done. Five counters, Lisa Marie, £250. Let's take it and put it into your bank. It's going to put you in the lead with one counter still to play. Next question for everybody. Published in 2020, the novel The Diver and the Lover is by the BBC Radio 2 presenter Jeremy Who? Matt Vine. It is Jeremy Vine. Yeah, well done, Matt. Right, do you want to play your last counter? I think I'll play. You're going to yeah, go for it? I'll risk it, yeah. Try and get off the mark. Jump zone four? Yeah, please, yeah. We're going for four, please. Thanks. Definitely need it on the left. Definitely. Going to go left. On the right. Now, if that mystery separates from the other one as it comes down, oh, it doesn't. It's just flipped. Can we get you something? They're quite far back. No, Matt. No joy whatsoever. You just filled the hole. So nothing with your third and final counter. No so that's all three used for the time being. You are out. So Lisa Marie, you've got one counter left. Bill, you've still got two. This next question is for you two. The British Overseas Territory of Gibraltar. She has a land border with which? Bill. Spain. Which European country? It is Spain, yes. Would you like to play, Bill? Yes, please, man. Where are you going to go? Drops on four, please. Surely, got to be, hasn't it? Far up four. <laughs> Bouncy drop, that Flat. one. Now, Matt's just very generously left a load on the tipping point for you there, which I think you may well get to take advantage of. Hopefully. Two counters and you catch Lisa Marie. Surely there's two there. Yeah, well two and then some. Well done. <laughs> Five for you there, Bill. Well done. £250. Let's take it and put it into your bank. It's going to put you in the lead. £400 with one counter still to play. One more question for Lisa Marie and Bill. What word often used to describe something attractive is commonly said before please to give a more persuasive request? Bill. Pretty please. Absolutely right. Sure. Uh, would you like to play or pass this one, Bill? I'm going to play, Ben. Sure. And I'm going to go drop zone four again, please. Bit more action for four. Fire it up, please. Still want it on the left, I think. If it goes on the right, mm. that mystery's getting close. <laughs> Couldn't make up its mind. It's kind of between the two. Well, flat. Yeah, another one that's wow. flat. Well done. Can we get... That double moving forward mm. should do. If they go over the top. Yes, it does. Oh, nice. Now, you're getting some action on the left here, Bill. There we go. <laughs> Nicely done. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Seven for you, Bill. Another nice drop for you. £350 this time. Thank Let's you. take it and put it into your bank. So that's going to put you on £750. That's all three of your counters used. So, for the time being, you are out. You. Right, Lisa Marie, it's just you, because it's just you. You don't need to use your buzzer. You do need to give me the correct answer to this question to put this counter into the machine. Here we go then, Lisa Marie. Born in 2021, the first child of Princess Eugenie and Jack Brooksbank shares his name with what month of the year? August. It is August, yeah. Very, Very nicely done, Lisa Marie. No problems at all. Where should we put this counter? Oh, drop zone four, please, Ben. Yes, do drop zone four, please. You can get it on the right. That double could go. The mystery could go. Tight and don't rider. have a rider. As well, just released that a bit too quickly, yeah. Lisa Marie, and it flies down and actually filled the hole as well, so it didn't pay off. As things stand, Bill is leading with £750. Lisa Marie has 250 Matt's got nothing in the bank, but it's not over. We have one counter up for grabs in the penalty pot. I'm going to ask you all one more question. If you buzz in and give me the correct answer, you put this counter into the machine. If you buzz in and give me the wrong answer, you will be frozen out. Right then, Matt, you've got to try and win this counter back to get Absolutely. you in the game if possible, OK? Yeah. Good luck, everybody. Here comes your penalty pot question. What is the lowest even number displayed on a standard dartboard? Bill. Two. It is two. Well done, Bill. Yeah. You got there first. You win the counter. Where do you want to put it? I'm going to stick with the drop zone four, then. Let's do it. Again. It's a full house drop zone four. Yeah. Fire it up. Now, that might just slide under Lisa Marie. Yeah. yeah, it did. Oh, well. So, nothing more to add. So, the score stays there were at the end of the round. Bill is leading with £750. Ahead of Lisa Marie on £250. Matt's got nothing in the bank just yet. Join us after the break to see which of the day's three players will win through to our head-to-head -head and a shot at our £10,000 jackpot. See you in a bit.
If you'd like a brand new Tipping Point experience, then why not try Tipping Point Blast? You can download it on Google Play and the App Store for free and play wherever you are, whenever you like. Welcome back to Tipping Point, where Bill, Lisa Marie and Matt are battling it out for the right to play for today's chatbot. In this round, each of them will have 45 seconds to answer as many questions as possible. Every correct answer will give them a counter to play into the machine. However, this time, the player with the lowest score at the end of the round will be leaving the game. Bill, you are leading after round one, which means you get to choose. Would you like to play first? Or would you like to ask Lisa Marie or Matt to play instead? I'm going to go first, Ben. <laughs> <you. laughs> 45 seconds for you then, Bill. Every time you get a question mark, I'll give you a count. If you don't know, just say pass. 45 seconds, Bill, please. Your time starts now. In the UK, New Year's Eve is celebrated on the 31st of which month? December. Correct. The former James Bond actor who plays Sam in the Mamma Mia films is Pierce who? Brosnan. Correct. Flavorcott and Tomcott are varieties of which stone fruit? Plum. Apricot. In 2020, which US tennis player won the Women's Tennis Association's Player of the Year award? Serena Williams. Sophia Kenin. Flashlight is an American term for which handheld battery-powered object? Torch. Correct. Mao Tse Tung appears on banknotes issued by the People's Bank of which Asian country? Vietnam. China. China. At the 2019 UK general election, which future Liberal Democrat leader was re-elected as MP for Kingston and Surbiton? Don't know. Ed Davey. In the night sky, Rigel and Bellatrix are bright stars in which... Out of time. In the night sky, Rigel and Bellatrix are bright stars in which zodiacal constellation, did you know? Milky Way. Orion. Orion. It's Orion. You've got three correct answers in there, Bill. Not too bad. Let's get you some money, extend your lead. Where do you want to start? Um, drop zone three, please, Ben. Let's have three. <laughs> so, let me get something over. Nice and flat, a couple of here, maybe. Squeeze a few through. Mm, not quite, but setting it nicely there for you, Bill. Two more to go. Stay with three. Yes, please. Three again. A little smooth finish to that there. Mm. Is it going to ride? Stay flat for us now, machine. Yes, you're down. Flat. So you've just set the tipping point. Gone flat. Can you get something over the top shelf? Yes. Move the mystery. Well done. Is it going to go, Bill? No! Oh! <laughs> One more to go. Uh, drop zone three again, please, Ben. Five, three up, please. Nice, quick drop and a good settle. Top shelf, got to work. Yes, now surely this time, Bill. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For a moment, I thought we were just going to disappear. <laughs> Bill, 13 counters. Nice. Very nice. £650 in one drop. Thank you. Lovely stuff. Let's take it and put it into your bank. That's going to leave you on a very healthy £1,400. Right, Lisa Marie, you are ahead of Matt, so you can choose. You could play next if you think the machine's ready. Alternatively, if you don't, you could ask Matt to play. I think I'm going to pass. Right. So <laughs> okay, Matt. Lisa yeah. Marie's hoping you're going to fill it up for her. Let's see how you get on. 45 seconds for Matt, please. Your time starts now. Which East Coast US city is nicknamed the city that never sleeps? New York. Correct. How many protruding tentacles do slugs typically have on their head? Two. Four. Which Grammy Award winning singer released the 2020 album The Rarities? Pass. Mariah Carey. Who Am I Again is a 2019 autobiography by which British comedian? Lee Evans. Lenny Henry. Ponies are small-sized breeds of which equine animal? Horses. Correct. In 2021, Zara Muhammad was appointed the first female leader of the British Council of which religion? Um, Islam. Correct. Kimi Raikkonen won his Formula One World Championship title in 2007 while driving for which team? Ferrari. Correct. Oh, just, oh, got it. just got Man. it in there. Just squeezed it in. Four correct answers, so not too bad. So four counters to put into the machine. Great. Where do you want to go? I'll go for drop zone four initially. Let's do it. Fire up four, please. <laughs> OK, so on the right... 
Might get a mystery. Yeah, could do. Just slides forward nicely. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Three counts for you, Matt. £150. I'm off the mark. Off the point you are. <laughs> Finally, we've got you something. <laughs> and nestled amongst those counters is a mystery prize. You've won yourself a gourmet lunch for two on board a luxury London sightseeing bus, courtesy of Bustro Gnome. Great. Look How great is that? Yeah, mega. Right, Matt, you're on your way. We've got three more to put in. Where do you want to go? Great. Um, I'll stick with drops in four, please. Four again, Thanks. please. Cheers. A bit further left would be good, wouldn't it? It's going to yeah. be a double. Yes, that's better. All the, nice. the other mystery. Well, be well. Here we go. Yeah. Can it go? If it goes, you want it to go with a few. It's two Need counts it. to catch Lee. Yeah. Three. Ooh, it forward. One, one, one sneaks out. Let's give you £50 for that one. Takes you up to £200. <laughs> two more to go in, Matt. Staying with it? Uh, yeah, I'll stick with drop zone four, please. Four again. Cheers. Yes, settle. Perfect. Settle, settle, settle. Get your double, Matt. Is the double going to go? Just need one counter to catch Lisa Marie now. Is it going to get out? Oh! No! Look at that. Would you believe it? I know. <laughs> That is a heavy shelf now, with a double yeah. right at the heart of it. One more to go, Matt. Got to go with drops in four. Four again, please. Cheers. Hang in line, Fred, if you get it in the right place. And again, they've been really consistent, those last three. Yes. Bob on. Is it going to go? Oh. Lisa Marie can't watch. <laughs> and there it is. Well, well, that's four as well. Nice one, Matt. Cheers. Well done. That's another eight across the tipping point, which is £400. But, of course, right in amongst it. You can't quite see it there, but the double drop too, so we can give you another £400. Back in the game. So all of a sudden, things are looking a lot healthier for you. Let's take that £1,000 from the machine and put it into your bank. Thanks. And you are now very much ahead of Lisa Marie on £1,000, so well done. Right, Lisa Marie. made the wrong decision. Maybe. <laughs> let's see how you get on with these questions. Let's see if you can wrestle back that position to go through to the head-to-head. -head. Okay. 45 seconds for Lisa Marie, please. Your time starts now. With reference to UK clothes size labelling, the letters XS stand for extra what? Extra small. Correct. Mount Kilimanjaro is the highest point on which continent? Africa. Correct. The family of Dashwood had been long settled in Sussex, is the first line of which Jane Austen novel? Pride and Prejudice. Sense and Sensibility. In the year 2000, Grand Duke Henri became monarch of which European country? Spain. Luxembourg. Produced by Nescafe, Black Roast is a brand of which hot beverage? Coffee. Correct. In 1397, the merchant Richard Whittington was first appointed Lord Mayor of which major UK city? London. Correct. In 2020, the Rolling Stones released the song Scarlet, featuring which member of Led Zeppelin on guitar? The Slash. Jimmy Page. <laughs> on the third row of the periodic table, which abundant element is directly... I quite like. The, the idea of Slash playing in there. <laughs> yeah, it's like... <laughs> and with the Rolling Stones. Uh, I think the Guns N' Roses tip would have been nice, wouldn't it? We've we run out of time with this one. On the third row of the periodic table, which abundant element is directly located between aluminium and phosphorus, did you know? Silicon. It is silicon. Uh, you've got four correct answers, though, Lisa Marie. Yeah. So that's good. a good return. So now you've got to try and overhaul Matt if you can. We need 15 to do that. Oh so what are you thinking looking at the machine now? I think I'm going to have to go drop down two and hope to get the double down. Fire up two, drop please. Drop two, please. It's not far away. Could be a nice start if we can get things moving. Nice. Double push. Ah. One counter drops in for you, Lisa Marie. It's £50 across the tipping point. Three more to go. Drops in two again. Yes, please, Ben. Two again, please. Bit further right this time. Just edging out nicely. Oh, it was there and rolled away. OK, what can we get this time for you? We need something over the top. Is it going to go? I'm not sure. Yes. yes. Oh, it's separated too. That can help. Can really help. Oh. And then again, it can just find a gap. <laughs> right, okay. two more to go, Lisa Marie. Yep, drop some two again, Ben, please. Two again, please. This is your third one into drop zone two. We've only had one so far, come out. Really wow. rapid drop. I had that. Come on. It's not, it's going to fill a gap. The top shelf going to go. No. Oh, there we go. Come on, come on. Oh, separates come on, again. Come on. Yeah, that's oh, just under it. Not bad. Four more for you, Lisa Marie. £200 goes in, we're up to £250. One more to put in. 
you want to stay with two? Do you want to change it up? I think I've got to stay with two. OK. Jump on two, please. <laughs> Finally gets towards the double. Might be a little bit late to get that into yeah. play. No. no. Couple come over. We're going to get one more. No. no! Lisa Marie, no. No, no, no. <laughs> you put Matt into play in the hope he would fill it up. Sadly for you, he emptied it out it and left you with an uphill <laughs> task. And £250 is not going to be enough when we take it from the machine and put it into your bank. Because we have come to the end of the round, Bill is leading with £1,400. Matt goes through with £1,000. Lisa Marie, I'm so sorry, but that means with £500, we have found your tipping point. Thank you for playing. Thank you. It's been lovely to meet you. So it's Bill and Matt who will be going head-to-head -head after the break for the right to play for a £10,000 jackpot. Now that it's your chance to win an amazing cash prize, just like our viewer Elaine. She won big by entering our competition, and you could too. Oh, my... I can't believe that. I don't do many of the competitions on the telly because I thought I'd never win. It means such a lot. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. For £15,000. Go to the website. Entries cost £1.50. Text WIN to 63339. Text cost £1.50 plus one standard network rate message. Call 09041 613030. Calls cost £1.50 plus your network access charge. Or post your name and phone number to TP228, PO Box 7558, Derby DE10NQ. Entrance must be 18 or over. Lines close at 10 a.m. on Monday. Welcome back to Tipping Point, where just two players remain, Bill and Matt. Well done to both of you for getting this far. We're about to find out which one of you is going to take on the machine for our jackpot. Cracking comeback in that last round, Matt. Needed it. You yeah, did, yeah, you I did. did. And you did a really good job. Yeah, I visions myself going there and not, not putting the car again. <laughs> <laughs> but you so, did a great job. You managed yeah. to get enough to get through to this round. Got a bit more work to do because Bill's got a £400 lead on you, but there's still plenty of money in the machine to play for. In this round, you're each going to be asked three questions alternately. On your question, you can choose to answer or you can pass it to your opponent. If you give me a correct answer, you put the counter into the machine. If you give me a wrong answer, your opponent puts the counter into the machine. Whoever has the most money at the end of this round will be today's winner. You are leading, Bill, so you get to choose. Would you like the first question? We'd like to offer it to Matt. I'm going to take the first question, please, Ben. OK, here we go. First one for you, Bill. Which actress wore clothes designed by Givenchy in the films How to Steal a Million, Funny Face and Paris When It Sizzles? You can play or pass this to Matt if you're not sure. I have no idea, <laughs> so I'm going to pass it to Matt. Whoa, have you heard of any of these films, How to Steal a Million, Funny Face or Paris When It Sizzles? No, actually. <laughs> oh, OK. It's just going to have to be a wild guess, if I'm honest, Ben. Um, I'm going to say... Natalie Portman. Natalie Portman? Yeah. OK. Uh, Bill, if you'd have had to name an actress... Do you know, I, can, no, I can't even think. I'm thinking of one face, but I don't know the name. No, can't even get there with it. Um, OK, Matt's come up with Natalie Portman. Let's see if you're right. Is the answer Natalie Portman? No, it was Audrey Hepburn. Audrey Hepburn. Audrey Hepburn. Yes. Apparently, Audrey Hepburn was Givenchy's muse, hence him uh, making yeah. the clothes for yeah. yeah, it makes sense. Uh, Bill, you get the counter, cos Matt was wrong. Where do you want to go? I'm going to go drop zone two, please. Drop zone two it is. Bring the double yeah, down. Come on. Which could be handy. Ooh, Ooh, yes, and it yeah. separates as well. Is it going to stay on it? Just missed. And leaves a nice little tipping point for you there, Matt. Oh, right. £50 goes in. Let's take that for you, Bill. Put it into your bank. It's from £1,450. Thank you. Right, Matt, we come to you. Time for your first question. Alongside Mercury, Venus and Earth, which other planet makes up the solar system's terrestrial planets? Um, you can pass this to Bill if you're not sure. I think you'd know, wouldn't you? He looks pretty confident, to be honest. Uh, Mars? You're going to go with Mars? Yeah. Do you think that might be it? Yeah, that was the first one that came to me, so I'm just... Yeah. I'd rather take the punt than, uh, than pass it to Bill. I, mean, I think we'll probably know it, so... OK, let's see, then. Bill, what would you have said? Perhaps I might have said the only two that came to my mind were Pluto or Saturn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's... Yeah. yeah. OK. That's have you made the right move here, Matt, by going for it? Mercury, Venus and Earth. 
they are three of the terrestrial planets, is the fourth Mars. Yeah, they're the four inner planets closest to the sun. Yeah, of course. Well oh, yeah. done, Matt. You got it. Well done, Matt. Where do you want to put the counter? I'm going to go with drop zone two. So Got to be, yeah. surely, yeah. yeah. Far up two. Right. We're looking for nine to close the gap, and there is certainly five or six there, at least, if we can get it on the right side. Yeah, nice. Nice drop. Oh, is the top shelf going to work, though? No, might go smooth. Yeah, good squeeze. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, it doesn't. Oh. Sadly, Matt, it's a good answer, but the drop let you down. Yep. Right, Bill, we come back to you. Time for your second question. Footballer Sergio Aguero has played his international matches for which country? You can play or pass Sergio this. Sergio Aguero. Do you like your football? Yes. I know exactly who he plays for, Manchester City, but most stood here now, I'm thinking. Do you think Matt knows? Yeah, Matt will know. So you're going to play? I'm going to play. Right, so if you're going to play, you can name a few countries before you well, give me the one. Well, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a South American country, and um, uh, my first thought was Argentina. I thought Uruguay as well. I don't think it is Uruguay. I'm going to say Argentina. Go with Argentina? Yeah. OK. Matt, what would you have said? Uh, yeah, I would have said Argentina. You'd have gone yeah. Argentina yeah. as well. Let's see if you got the right one, Bill. Aguero, does he play for Argentina? Yeah, absolutely. Nice. He scored 40 goals for Argentina. Yeah. Bill, where do you want to put the counter? I think it's got to be drop zone two, Ben, please. Two up, please. Ooh, but hard on the left. Is that too far left? It's not bad there, but... Not bad. Is it too far? Uh... to go. <laughs> <laughs> Three sneak in. You got three in the end, Bill. Let's give yeah. you £150 for those three. But there's still a very tasty-looking tipping point there. Let's put that in your bank. Put you on £1,600. Matt, we come to you. Time for your second question. What is the surname of the husband and wife couple, Martin and Shirley, who released the album In the Swing of It in 2019? I think I'm going to have to pass this. I've actually got no idea. Bit of a mind blank. So, Passing yeah, it over? I think I'm going to have to pass the Bill, yeah. Does it ring any bells for you, Bill? Yes. It does? Go on, then. It's uh, Martin and Shirley Kemp, I think. Martin Kemp was, uh, was so. the, the singer, and it was his wife, so I'm assuming the surname was Martin and Shirley Kemp. Go with Kemp. Does that ring yeah. any bells, Matt? Yeah. Since Spandau Ballet, wasn't it? Spandau yeah. Ballet. Yeah. Let's see if you're right, Bill. Is the answer Kemp? Yeah. And nice. she was... Shirley from Pepsi and Shirley. Shirley and Pe yeah. Uh, yeah. As well. Bill, nicely done. Another counter for you here. Where do you want to go? I'm going to stay with the drop zone two, please, Ben, because that tipping point's still there at the bottom. Very strong, isn't it? Yeah. It's, yeah. Drop zone two, please. Matt can't get a foothold in the round yet. Bill's very much in control. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Come on. That's good. Is that black counter going to come down? Oh, no, but the silver one does. How did that happen? No idea. Oh, oh now you're getting a double shove. Oof. And it's not riding, so you could get a little bit more. There's a bit of a gap. Yeah, there is. Oh, but it didn't matter. How about that? Well wow. done, Bill. Wow. <laughs> Very good. 13 across the tipping point, Bill. Very nice. £650. Let's take it and put it into your bank. And that's going to put you on 2250 wow. wow. And you keep control. Time for your third and final question. Which imaginary line of latitude in the Southern Hemisphere was recorded as being first crossed by Captain James Cook in 1773? No, I, I'm not absolutely certain about that. I'm to be a wild guess at the moment. It should be on my head somewhere, but it's not. So I'm going to pass it to you, Matt. Right, come on, Matt. Got no idea. <laughs> OK. <laughs> so we're looking for an imaginary line of latitude. Then um, I'm just going to say Australia, just cos... You need to give me something, so you just gone to Australia. Yeah, it's OK, just... it's in the Southern Hemisphere, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Uh, <laughs> Bill, do you have any <laughs> imaginary lines of latitude or anything in your head? I know. There's a larger line called Capricorn. Yeah. Is it the...? No. So that that be all sure. I come up with, yeah. Right, Matt's sure this is wrong, but it's something in yeah. the Southern Hemisphere, at least. Is it Australia? <laughs> 
No, it's the Antarctic Circle. You know what? The Antarctic, Antarctic circle. actually came to me as well. Well, why didn't you say it, man? Uh, I don't know. Say these <laughs> things. You can <laughs> think <laughs> out loud. Shut you don't just have Shut to up. say the first thing that comes into your head. Good pass, Bill. Matt Thank was you. wrong. You get the counter. I'm going to go drop zone three, please, Ben. Change attack. Drop zone three, please. Rattles down that left-hand side. Mm. A couple on the edge that could go here. And they refuse to budge. Just going to stay there. Yeah, they are. Right, Matt, one last That's chance all. for you. One last question. Here we go. Thanks. How many different prime ministers did the UK have during the 1990s? Now, you can play this. If you play it, you can try and work it out out loud. Or if you're not sure, you could still pass this to Bill. So I was born in 92. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> well, I um, there's an election every four years. I'm just thinking it's going to be a bit of a guess, but I've just got to go for it. You're going to go for it? Yeah. I'm going to go with four. You're going with four? Yeah. Bill, what would you have said? I'd have gone somewhere in the I'd said three. Who would you have said that? I think, I, th I don't know if Magic Thatcher was to be around then. Gordon yeah. Brown. Um, yeah. And possibly one other. OK, cool. You would have gone maybe three. Matt, let's see if you're right. We need this just to have one last crack in the yeah. machine. If not, Bill, you are our winner. Is the answer four? No, it was three. So right. if you passed it, Bill would have got it right. right. But you were wrong with who they were, not that we needed those answers. Thatcher, just at the start of 1990. Then John Major took over in 1990. And Tony Blair won the election in 1997. Gordon Brown oh. came after Tony yeah, Blair. Yeah, it just yeah. seems a lot more recent. But it's yeah, years ago. it was a long yeah. time ago. Matt, I'm afraid that means we're going to lose you. Thanks. Bill, very well done to you. Thank you, Matt. Certainly been in control in this round, and you've got one more count to put into the machine. Thank you. Um, drop zone one, please, Ben. Drop zone one it is. Not used it yet, it's been waiting for you, Ben. Yeah. <laughs> OK, just stays on its edge. Can we get it flat for you? Yep, there we go. Hopefully get a couple over the top. Mm. Maybe move and shift something on the tipping point. Any more to happen? Oh. Yeah, they separate nicely. Um... Two drop in for you, Bill. So finish with £100. Thank you. Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank. And that means at the end of the round, our winner today with £2,350 is Bill. Congratulations to you, Bill. Thank you, Ben. Very nicely done. Matt, you've been great, but I'm afraid that means with £1,000, we have found your tin point. Of course, you have won your sightseeing lunch, Matt. Of course. So it's yes, not all bad. It, yeah, you had a good yeah. time, Matt? Yeah, mega. Really good day. Thanks. It's been really yeah. lovely to meet you. Thanks so much for taking part. Cheers. Uh, so, Bill, as our champion, in a few moments, I'm going to ask you to put this chatbot counter into the machine. Now, this one is bigger and better than all those others, Bill. Could you get this one out? You're going to go home with £10,000. And there's still a double sitting there on the bottom shelf of Drop Zone 2. Get the two to go together, and you'd leave with £20,000. Can be on Master Machine by finding its jackpot tipping point. We'll find out after the break. Now, though, for your chance to win an amazing cash prize, just like our viewer Elaine. She won big by entering our competition, and you could too. Oh, my God. I can't believe that. I don't do many of the competitions on the telly because I thought I'd never win. It means such a lot. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. For £15,000. Go to the website. Entries cost £1.50. Text WIN to 63339. Text cost £1.50 plus one standard network rate message. Call 09041 61 30 30. Calls cost £1.50 plus your network access charge. Or post your name and phone number to TP228, PO Box 7558, Derby DE10NQ. Entrance must be 18 or over. Lines close at 10 a.m. on Monday. Welcome back to the final part of Tipping Point. Bill is today's winner and currently has £2,350. Very nicely done. Thank you very much, Ben. It's gone very well for you. Controlled things right from the start, really, and as close as Matt got just by getting back into the last round. He wasn't there for very long, was he? No, I got lucky again, really. Well, you say that, yeah, Bill, but yeah. you controlled things beautifully. Yeah. And now it's just you and the machine. And hopefully a jackpot. Any thoughts what you might like to do with the money? Were we to get it out? It was my 40th wedding anniversary this year. Congratulations. Um, and I haven't seen my children, my son and my daughter, Melissa, uh, Callum, for a number of months, them and their partners. And I think, yeah, a chunk of the money would go on a nice family holiday to Cyprus. All oh, wouldn't that be amazing? We have a favourite spot over there, a villa we go to, and uh, very good friends. 
And, yeah, it would be fantastic. Magic. Well, look, if we can put some of the money towards getting the family back together, what a lovely reunion yeah. and a great way of celebrating a great performance today. So, fingers crossed we get the jackpot for you. Thank you. Okay. Time to find out whether Bill's going to win our jackpot today. In a few moments, I'm going to ask you to put the jackpot counter into the machine. If you want to go home with £10,000, just need to get it out again. If you want to go home with £20,000, there's a double on the bottom shelf there of Drop Zone 2. See if you can get them to drop together. Here's how you can do it. I'm going to show you six question categories. For each category, you choose to play one, two or three counters into the machine. The more you play four, the harder the question will be. The more you win, the better your chances of getting the jackpot counter out. So, it's as simple as that, Bill. The question is, where do you want to put the jackpot counter? Well, I know the double is in two, but I'm going to stick with my original thought. That was my gut instinct, and I'm going to go over drop zone one. Let's do it. Drop zone one, please. So, when you're ready, Bill, release this one in. And let's see what we're facing with the jackpot. OK. Well, wow, that comes down quick. It doesn't hang about, does it? Bring the mystery through and down. OK, settles just towards the right of centre. And there's a lot on the bottom shelf. We can take four of them straight off the bat. Let's give you £200. Up to 2550 Jackpot counter nice and flat. Right there, and drop some one. Right, let's have a look at your end game categories, Bill. This is what we have for you. Human body, music, politics, geography, food and drink, and television. You can play them in any order. So where do you want to start for how many? I'm just going to go top to bottom, okay. then. Um, and, and you have to do it that way. OK, human body, then, for how many? Uh, can I...? I'll go for three, please. Human body for three. At birth, how many vertebrae make up the spinal column of an average human? 13, 33, 53. How many vertebrae? Well, I'm looking at that now and I'm thinking, does it increase as people grow up? I don't know. The fact it asks at birth, I would suggest that it's maybe less than it is when you're older. But I, I don't really know. Um, and I might just go middle for dude. I'm going to go for 33. 33? Yeah. All right, we're going to go with 33 vertebrae, making up the spinal column of an average human at birth. Is that right? 33, yeah. So wow. what happens? It actually goes down. Because ah. adults only have 24. They fuse as you get older. Right. So we start right. with more vertebrae. Of course. Great. Well done. Fabulous. Right. Drop someone. Yes, please. Light it up, please. <laughs> Go that way. Keep going, keep going. Please. Okay, Just nearly. To that side of it, isn't it? What? Get a little touch. Yeah, it is flat. Let's see if we can shift a bit of that top shelf weight. There you go, two over. A bit. And again here. Just shoveling it all forward. That's yeah. the one drops in. Two more to go. One again. Yes, please, bud. One up, please. That's mm, that was gonna oh, be better. Rolls away. Yeah. Couple over the top. Mm. Shifting anything here. No, nope, just filling a gap. Mm. One more to go. Drops all one again. One up, please. Yes, 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 yes. We'll take that. Stay right on it. Stay right on it. Nicely done. Bottom shelf is packed. <laughs> I'm waiting. <laughs> Once that jackpot goes over, they'll all go. Yeah. But that's great, because we've got that jackpot to the edge of the top shelf straight off. Super. Right, let's go back to the categories. So music's next on the list, Bill. Three, please, sir. Music for three. What is the name of the rapper who won Best Album and Best Hip Hop Act at the 2020 MOBA Awards? Eights, nines or tens? Completely out of my, uh, my comfort zone there with that one. But... If you were going to be a rapper, eights, if I was gonna nines be a rapper, tens? I'm going to go tens. Tens? Yeah. Ten out of tens? Yeah. Exactly. And tens, please. Let's see if you're right. Have you found the right name? The winner of Best Album, Best Hip Hop Act at the 2020 MOBOs. Was it tens? No, oh, nines. Nines. <laughs> Real name is Courtney Freckleton, but it goes by the rapper name Nines. Nines. We know that from now on. Yeah, yeah, okay. we will. Don't forget it. Back to the categories. Politics. Three, please, Ben. Politics for three. Since 1972, which US state has always voted first in the presidential primaries and caucuses? Iowa, Texas, or California? To follow American politics? Well, yeah, well, the last one was quite... It was in our face, wasn't it, with, with Trump and Biden? 
Um, but all those were mentioned. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go in the middle again. I'm going to say Texas. Texas? Yes. I'm going with Texas, please. Have we got the right answer? Is it Texas? Oh, it's Iowa. Do you know what? It's Iowa. Iowa. Never mind. Apparently, they have a very complex process in Iowa, right. so it has to, it needs more time, so it has to vote first so they can sort it all out. I wasn't exactly sure, so I thought I'd go in the middle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Not to worry. Let's go back to the categories. Geography. We're still in good shape. Mm. We just need to get the answers right. Uh, three year play, please, please, Ben. Three Geography three for three. three. Which sea is located between mainland China and the Korean Peninsula? Black Sea, Red Sea, or Yellow Sea? Well, I'm going to say, obviously, Yellow Sea, Ben. Do you think so? What's yes. your deduction there um, as a former police officer? Well, I, I think the, the Black Sea and the Red Sea are, are not... I don't, I don't associate them with China or Korea for okay. some reason, but that's the only reason I've got. Do you want to light up Yellow? Yes, please. We're going to go with Yellow Sea. Something's telling you somewhere that it's the Yellow Sea. You think the Black Sea and Red Sea are elsewhere? Let's see if you're right. Is it the Yellow Sea? It is indeed. Yeah. Nicely done. Thank you. The Black Sea is more or less landlocked. It's up in Northern Europe. Yeah. And the Red Sea is in the Middle East. It is in the Middle East, yeah. Yeah. Red sea, yeah. Right. Three counters for you here. Drop zone one, please. Drop zone one it is. Let's see. Come on, over we go. Smaller. Yes, right. Now, can we shift some of this? Money? Nice. Seven. Seven counters. £350. That's more like it, isn't it? Yeah. £2,900. Two more to go in. Uh, drops on one again, please, Ben. Let's have one. Just snuck past it, hasn't it? Yeah. Okay, mm. one more to put in. Drops on one again, please, Ben. One up, please. So a silver counts right slap bang in the middle would mm. be the one that takes us down. Ooh, mm. No, no, no. Been a little bit awkward. Got it flat though. Right, Bill. There's still a fair bit of money on the bottom shelf for you there, Bill. Mm. Start. Have a little sniff of that. Yeah, three more drops in. Another hundred and fifty pounds. Takes us over three thousand. Three thousand and fifty. Let's go back to the categories. Food and drink and TV. Yeah, food and drink for three, please. Man. Food and drink for three. Popular in Middle Eastern cuisine, amber is a pickle predominantly made from which fruit? Date, mango, pomegranate. Amber. Have you heard of amber? No, I haven't. I oh, know they all. Yeah, pickles. Mango chutney. You get mango chutney, don't you? Date pickle. Pomegranate pickle. Middle East pomegranates. I'm going to go with date. Dates. Any reason? Um, it says Middle Eastern cuisine. Mm. Dates. Very, very popular in the Middle East uh, for a lot of food and, and I think they're produced there in, in huge numbers as well. Okay. Um, Should so, we go date then? Yes, please. We're going to go with date. Amber, is it a pickle predominantly made from dates? It's mango. It is mango. Dates and pomegranates are used in Middle Eastern yeah, cuisine. Yeah. Just not in this particular no. pickle. We're in a bit of a pickle now. Here we yeah. are. Because you can't get that jackpot can off the top shelf unless you get another question right. <laughs> We've got one more chance. Three counters, we got it to there. Three more counters, we could get it out if we get them in the right place. But we need a correct answer. Let's have a look. TV. Three, please, then. TV for three. In January 2021, HBO Max announced that some of the characters from Sex and the City would be returning to TV under what name? New York Diaries, What Carrie Did Next, and Just Like That. Oh, were you a Sex and the City fan, Bill? I do know of it, but I wasn't yeah. a fan. I didn't know. I think it goes back a lot of years on that. Yeah. Have you heard about this reboot that they nope. announced in 2020? Not at all. OK. Um, Do any I'm of those I'm trying to remember fit? the character names. Carrie, was she even? Was that Carrie in Sex and the City? Um, there must have been... I don't know. And just like that. 
No, I'm going to go with um, New York Diaries. New York Diaries? Yes. Should we light it up? Yes, please. We're going with New York Diaries. Sex in the City, January 2021. HBO Max announced that some of the characters will be returning to TV under a new name. Was it called New York Diaries? And just like that. Just like that. No idea, but... Bill, that's so frustrating. We started so brilliantly. Yeah. And then we've just really struggled to get any momentum. So the jackpot counter's sitting there on the top shelf. Usually at this stage, Bill, as I'm sure you know, I'd offer you a trade. Three counts is what you've got so far in the hope of getting the jackpot counter out. Given that it's still there on the top shelf, I'm pretty sure I know what you're going to say. I need to ask you nonetheless, would you like to take the money or the trade? Uh, I'll take the money, thank you, Ben. OK, you congratulations. £3,050 is a lovely amount of money and will go somewhere, I hope, to getting the family yes, together. Yes, it will. Thank you very much. Towards getting to Cyprus and Without just having a, a lovely reunion. Without it's been great, doubt. great fun playing alongside yeah. you. Have you had a good day, Bill? I've had a great day. It's been a great experience, Ben. Thank you. Top stuff. Thanks for coming in and taking part. So there you go, Bill's leaving with £3,050. He sailed through the first three rounds, but that last round, when you can't get any momentum, just a lot tougher when you're stood here and sitting at home with your cup of tea. Join us next time when the fate of three more players will hang in the balance on Tipping Point. Goodbye. <laughs>